Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Kemp, Hammond Doc, and today I'm going to talk about five and six pin cables that are used uh, with the Hammond organ and the Leslie speaker. Now, in my hand here I have a very common, very typical looking six pin Leslie cable. And this is what it looks like. This is this one is uh, is tied down, and uh, but this is what we mean by six pins. So there are there are one, two, three, four, five, six pins there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Corresponding then these correspond to the way the organ is wired, and the uh, amplifier of the Leslie. So this end goes to the Leslie and this end goes into the Hammond organ. And these are used with Hammond uh, B3s and C3s uh, and uh, A100 series Hammond organs and used also in terms of the Leslie's with the generally with uh, one 47 Leslie, although they can also be used with a 122 Leslie. Um, this is what connects your Hammond organ to your Leslie speaker. Uh, some technicians will use a 5 pin like this for the 122's and you can see that there are five pins here. Now um, something I want uh, you to note with regard to but uh, I said five there are five pins on this end but still six receptor ends here. Receptor holes there. Now there's something I want to uh, be aware of with regard to the cords. These cords are designed so that with the, the pins there are two large ends. Okay, there are two large pins and then one, two, three, four pins that are smaller. And that's so that uh, you don't put the wrong pin in the wrong in the wrong uh, socket area when you're plugging these up. So let's take this. This is a this is the female end, and you want to line up the large ends with the large ends of the female end here. Now one of the ways, another way to to help you to do that. In addition to the looking for the two large pins, is that most of these cables have a little dot. Let me point this dot out to you here. And in fact, I'll, let me pan up, and you should be able to see the dot. A little, little dot right there. Okay. Now this is very, very important. Okay. Enough of the close up of my face. All right. The reason that it's so important is so again, so that you can get the right pin in the right place in the right hole. And because otherwise you can you will have fireworks if the wrong pin goes in the wrong hole, uh, or the in in when it when you connect it to the organ, you you get some fireworks. And it goes in like this, just like that. That's how it fits. Now, if you're having to struggle, if you're struggling, it could be that you. You're off. If you're having to do this, you're doing something's wrong. Okay, it shouldn't be laborious. It 
shouldn't be having difficulty like that. It should be just this easy. If you line it up properly, when these things are lined up, it goes and it slips right in. And it comes out just like that. It slips in that easily. That's how, that's how you want it to work. Okay. Now, as I said, this is the common looking cable. Generally cables, I mean, they can come in various lengths. The most common length is 30 feet. So 30 feet of Leslie cable. When you start going beyond 30 feet of Leslie cable, um, you can begin to uh, lose lose power and so therefore uh, beyond say 50 feet you want to you might want to use a power relay and I'll talk about that on another video but uh, the most common is 30 so 30 to 50 feet is generally okay uh, after that you want to consider a power the use of a power relay to connect um, your organ and your Leslie. If your organ is that far away, beyond 50 feet away from you, um, you, you, you probably are going to want a, a second Leslie anyway that's closer to you. And, um, and, and that would in, usually indicate that you're in a room or a facility that's, that's probably pretty roomy or pretty large. Now, let me show you another cord. Cords come, they, they come in different colors, usually uh, brown or gray. Here's another brown one, but this one is uh, more slender. This is a six pin cable, Leslie cable. I say cord, but I mean cable. These are Leslie cables. Here, here, are, here is a gray Leslie cable. This is 6-pin. This is even more slender. This is a gray one. Uh, I have in storage in one of my drawers over here, in one of my cabinets, a, a, a thick, <laughs> a, a, a very thick gray one. But this is real slender. Now, these very slender ones are very useful for when you have, especially when you have a second Leslie that you need to put on the other side of a sanctuary and you want and you need invisibility of the cords. You don't want people seeing the cords and you can, these, these slender ones, oftentimes they'll just, you can put them up against the steps or against the walls and, and, and people in the church don't even notice them so you want the slender ones as much as possible I like those here's another this is woof, gigantic <laughs> I don't know how many feet this is this may this might be 80 to 100 feet of of, of, of um, Leslie cable here this might be a hundred feet of Leslie cable this is a long a long bad boy here. Let's see. Is this a, this is a six pin? Let's see, six pin. All right. Now I was showing you about the the little dot. There's also a dot. On the on the receiver end there as well, and so it's important to line up the dots on the two. You line them up, the two dots, and you're able to get those going together. I just noticed that on this in I'm gonna to have to replace this end on this cable before I use it 
because uh, there's a little break in the amphal in here. This little plug in this little plug. So I'm going to have to replace this unit. This this casing um, will come apart. There are screws here, and what I'll be left with. one of these like this okay that's what it'll be it'll be a unit like this and and I'll take one of these like this and one two three four take one of these like this and replace it okay because you don't want any problems you don't want a fire hazard um, and and it's easy enough to to unsolder this and replace it with with a quality one or with a new one so that's easy enough to do I have a bag full of amphol Amphenol, they I said amphenol, but amphenol, they're called amphenol, amphenol plugs. These are amphenol, uh, and actually these, these are the little cases <coughs> that the plugs go into. Well, amphenol plugs go into the amphenol cases. Okay. So... And here are some, here's some new ones here. So I got, I have plenty of these, plenty of these units that uh, I can easily use to replace them. These are the old-fashioned type metal, metal type of cases, metal cases. <coughs> but I like. To replace those metal cases, and, and, and in some cases, I mean, you know, if they're, if they're in good shape like this, I will not replace them. I'll leave the metal cases alone. But I'm just showing you that if I wanted to, I could remove those metal cases and replace them with the, the plastic. Bakelite material, bakelite type material, similar to what you would see on the switches. Okay, that is the tremolo, tremolo corral switch. All right, I think that's enough for this session. Talking about the five plug and six plug Leslie cable so and I'm starting to get a little fatigue too so enjoying doing the videos though and I hope you're enjoying them as well finding and finding them informative um, I have a few more that I want to make before I go back uh, into the classroom back to my office at the university so um, Keep on watching, and I'll keep on producing them. This is Hammond Doc, Dr. Kemp, saying to you, peace out.